Uh, grab the bug spray. Huh? Yeah, that is just gross. <laughs> I kind of had to look away for a second. Okay, here's a much more pleasant scene for you. This is I-25 in Garden of the Gods, where we have 80 degrees from our underwater connection neighborhood weather network camera. A big reminder to everyone that we are still hosting our fall colors contest. We'd love to see your photos. You can submit them one of two ways, through our website, caredio.com forward slash contest or through our Facebook app. Again, we'd love to showcase those photographs and check them out. Live HD Doppler radar not showing any storms right now. We'll stay dry throughout the day today. All of this with mostly sunny skies. Into 4 p.m., we see temperatures in the 80s and 90s, dropping to the 70s by 8 o'clock, with mostly clear skies during the overnight time frame. I want to show you just how dry it's going to be throughout the day today. A look at 4 still shows you abundant sunshine with barely a couple of clouds. A similar story at 6. 10 still sticking with mostly clear conditions. Dry all the way through early Tuesday morning. Lows overnight tonight, dropping to the 50s for most in the lower terrain. A couple of 40s out there, Lamar, Lyman, Canyon City. 30s for the high country, you'll definitely want the light jacket during the overnight time frame. Tomorrow, you won't need any extra layers. Again, we're going to be warm, just slightly cooler by a couple of degrees. 80s, 90s for the I-25 corridor, 80s, 90s in the eastern plains, 60s and 70s toward the high country. Tomorrow, we increase clouds across southern Colorado, but we won't add in chances for storms until Wednesday. That's when we're going to see our next weak cold front move through. Following cold front arrives on Friday. Basically, you're going to notice temperatures tumbling throughout the end of the work week and into this weekend. I'm keeping in the possibility for storms starting the middle of the work week all the way through Saturday, but the days with the best coverage for storms won't be until Thursday and Friday. Within Pueblo, tomorrow, 90 degrees. It's going to be pretty similar out there tomorrow compared to what we're seeing today. However, we will be thickening clouds. Wednesday, temperatures start to drop. Dropping further by Friday and into this weekend. In fact, Saturday all through Monday in the Steel City will only be seeing the 70s for high temperatures. 87 for tomorrow in Canyon City. Low 80s we drop Wednesday, Thursday. Keeping in the possibility for some scattered storms Wednesday through Friday. However, keep in mind that on those three days, the areas where we're most likely to see storms will be in the high country. Finally, for Teller County, I'm keeping in the possibility for storms Tuesday all the way through Sunday. On Monday, you see a nice little zero there. That's a whoops. We aren't expecting any storms on Monday. I just think it's kind of funny that we see that pop up. Uh, we're going to see tumbling temperatures through the end of the work week and into this weekend. In fact, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday will only see the 50s. Um, I will be giving you another live look outside, hopefully not featuring bugs. That's coming up next. <laughs> so yeah, gross. those kind of uh, surprisingly pop up from time to time, too. They're scary. All right, thanks, Abby. Yeah. <laughs> Doing things differently this time around.